weather has absolutely gone for a turn for the worse, look. Through the rain, we're looking at my groceries in that chap, looking what I bought. So what did I get? I was right about the offer, coffee was three pound. So I bought six packets whilst we were there, I spent 20, well 18 quid, 18 quid on them. That did me another month in coffee, but I also found 18 cans of Budweiser for £10.50 <laughs> in bargain bin. So like that, you're coming with me. Yoink. So we're going to make his way back. I'm now going to try and decide who I'm going to have to eat on the way back. I'm just not knowing. And we're going out to the exit. Steam up, just got that steaminess about it. And we're away. I bet there's a really good way you could just nip through, like, somewhere. Might as well go back that way, but came on the motorway. way. We'll go back the other way. Let me know if we have the light or not there, just follow the neat guys, let's have it. So this road's been massively widened as well. All part of the uh, East Lanx bus route, I think. Trying to encourage people to get on the buses if it gets there quicker, I presume. Used to work down here years ago, found one of these buildings behind one of these mills somewhere. Used to do, uh, of all things, go and be a Kirby vacuum salesman. Yeah. Used to be changed now into something else. There's that guy parked right in the middle of the road. You just <laughs> what? So we're going to go down here again. I'm still hungry. I think I'm gonna go for the um, uh, you can't go down with a pizza, can you? Or maybe a good kebab, there's a good kebab place. I was gonna say it now talking about food and you know that he's like, oh you're making me hungry, stop it! <laughs> I won't be fooled by fast food though. I know my limitations. I've no good fast food places near me though, near me. some deliver, but it's just it's all same old, same old, isn't it? Get on to the orbital. So what do you think of the quality of this then in my van? This is just, it just clipped onto my seat cover on the middle seat and like I said, I've got the mic swinging about and banging me in the face. Does it sound all right? Is it all right? Leave a comment. It's busy, busy, busy city, city traffic. It is known as a city of Blackburn because it's got a cathedral. And an ice skating rink. I mean, that makes it definitely. They're trying to crash into me there or something. What about, what about if Nando's did a takeaway? Oh, how good would that be? So there's a, there's a couple of restaurants here I, I want to go and try, like. Uh, uh, Frankie and Benny's, you know, you know the script, don't you? But there's the uh, Cinquento, the Mexican cocktail bar. 
love a bit of Mexican food. That and Thai food, that's, it's the preferred spicy food actually. I just think the fresh, the fresh chilies and stuff. I think the fresh chilies is what I like more than the the actual curry powders and chili powder and stuff. It tends to rip through you, doesn't it? There's a Burger King there, and the last time I went there, I was very disappointed. I was like thrown together by one of the mall's murderers as well. I don't know, it was absolutely not good. I don't know about Burger King, at least, you know. I think it's a better quality of whatever horse meat they're chucking in it. <laughs> well, what are you guys like with food? Do you just do you just dive into places you've never been and try it, or do you go and look at like I do a little bit of research on it, me on new places. You know, there's always there's always somebody left to review, isn't there? Like I said before, there's loads of sculptures as you can see, oh, just all the way around, dotted around Blackburn. It has to be all uh, arty farty. And I've seen some guy actually in Tesco's, it's an Asian dude buying charcoals and pizza beds like we're going to do, you know, proper tandoori chicken, but unless it's an internal. Sandori oven is going to be doomed now with this weather. You're not getting a barbecue outside, are you? Everyone's just like jockeying for position. Come on! Ooh, that'd be spice. Indian. That'd be tempting, you know what I mean? I like an Indian. Shame, all the pubs are just for sale now. You know, it's just such a vibrant scene. And it's all disappearing now. Loads of new houses and things to support you, but they just. That's the problem, isn't it? It's got to the point now where it's too expensive for it. Put your jackets on, you fool. What's the point of having a jacket? Was that some sort of, did you see that woman then on the right? Was that some sort of like half half the tent of a power walk? The weather's atrocious. I couldn't have been out on my bike anyway, could I? Well taking that beauty out in the rain. I'm not I don't mind it, you know, if I'm out in if I'm out riding anyway and it rains, that's that's the, that's it, isn't it? That's what happens, but I don't personally venture off into the wet. We're coming back past, this is Blackburn Rovers for all you people who like football. I think it's a waste of time myself personally. Had a bit of a salty season I believe. Yeah, it's just grim isn't it? Maybe in a single block and that like. I, mean, I like to go out and eat as well, you know, but it's, it's a bit weird, isn't it, sometimes? Rocking up at a fucking place. I, I like, there's a nice little Italian restaurant near me, and I go in there occasionally, like, and it's, I must be like one of their most preferred customers because I'm, I'm in there, I go straight in like that. I know what, gonna get this, gonna get that, a bottle of beer, that table there, keep the food coming as quick as you can get it. Jobs done. 
No need to absorb the ambience. Just absorb the food. There's some nice places to eat around here as well. I went to one up in Osleton. Osleton. Um, a couple of weeks back and it was really, really nice. Yeah, it's so that Virgin Fuzz is the motorway, what I joined earlier. You see what a bit of, you know, you can bypass all that junk, especially in rush hour, if you can. But this rain looks like it's in for the evening. Hopefully not tomorrow, please not tomorrow. The damage is done, the grass is wet. Quite chuffed from the bargain, actually, man. Saved quite a bit of money, I think. Uh, I saved £3.50 on my beers. And I saved £1.50 per pack of coffee. So, you know, I saved close to about 11 quid, 12 quid off my shop. Every little helps. <laughs> Ruffle. So here, in, here at Juxture Falls, there's an actual skate park there. It's a, uh, an indoor skate park. It's one of the best ones in uh, Lancashire, I believe. If you like that sort of stuff. I'm not allowed them. I stick to motorcycles. I like a motor in my things. So I've decided where I'm going now, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm gonna have to eat. I'm not gonna review it either for you, you just have to take it by face value that I will consume this. So like this is just but this is my first test we're in the van actually this, so I'm just just seeing what it's gonna be like with the quality and with my mic swinging about near my face, what the sound's gonna be like, whether it gets louder and Quiet all the time because it's swinging about. We'll have to wait and see. I did have a clip for it, but I broke it. First thing. <laughs> I wonder if I could just twist it a bit and I could clip it onto that part of the helmet. Snap. Add it to the list of all the other stuff I've broken on this camera. But it works. Oh, it's grey, grey day. Well, it's been pretty uneventful, hasn't it, my drive? There's nothing really crazy happened. Oh, it's suddenly randomly pulled out on me. No random things going on on the road either. But, oh, is that one car parked in the middle? Yeah, there you go. Always something. No! I said no! So I if someone's pinched my parking spot when I get back. That bloody musical bloody chairs it is, they all move around and pinch your spot. So when I do get my spot, I tend to leave it there for days. <laughs> Reasserting the presence of my parking spot. So this is going to be the end of it, guys. I'm, I'm approaching my favourite takeaway now. I'm going to go and uh, go and order my food and uh, drive it home and eat it. Share it with my dog. It's a good kebab. So guys, so until next time. <laughs> Peace out, take it easy. See ya. <laughs>